for as long as humans have existed. One thought must have crossed everyone's mind whenever they have looked up at the night sky. Is there any life beyond the Earth? The majority of the solar system's planets are clearly dead and totally unsuitable for life. The only exception is Earth. However, there are a few worlds where there are intriguing possibilities of life, like Europa, the sixth largest moon in the solar system, and the fourth largest moon orbiting Jupiter. Despite its cracked and discolored appearance, it is the smoothest solid object in the solar system. Europa is a silicate rock, slightly smaller than Earth's moon, with a water ice crust and likely an iron nickel core. It has a very thin atmosphere composed primarily of oxygen. Life as we know it seems to have three main requirements, liquid water, certain chemical elements, including carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and an energy source. Chemical diversity is necessary for life, and carbon is an essential component of that diversity. Beneath the ice shell of Jupiter's moon, the enormous, salty ocean of Europa has long piqued scientists' interest. The subterranean ocean is the kind of environment where life could start if the right chemicals are present. Unfortunately, it is challenging for planetary scientists to peer through the planet's surface to examine the chemistry of the ocean. The smooth surface of Europa is excessively opaque. Since the chemistry changes on the surface, the best thing we can do is to look at the surface. Below the rime of ice that glazes the planet, scientists are almost positive that Europa has an underground ocean of liquid water, so deep that it makes the Mariana Trench look like a surface scratch. The data would be invaluable. NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper spacecraft is scheduled to visit the Jovian moon in 2030 or nearby. But in the meantime, scientists have a secret weapon. The James Webb Space Telescope. While the Webb excels at deep field images, it can also pull its focus inward to look at targets within our solar system and do fine-grained spectral analysis of its target. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope has improved scientists' abilities to study the surface. And now NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has revealed homemade carbon dioxide on Jupiter's icy moon Europa. There is a chance that life could exist there. Near-infrared spectroscopy was used by researchers to measure the level of carbon dioxide at Europa's surface and determine its source. The Terra Regio region of Europa's surface contains what is known as chaotic terrain, and the James Webb Telescope discovered a lot of carbon dioxide there. The location is important. Terra Regio has been dubbed Chaos Terrain because it's an area that seems to have been geologically active in the past. Scientists were able to identify the areas of Europa's surface more precisely than ever before where carbon dioxide was concentrated, thanks to JWST's near-infrared camera. Finding carbon dioxide on Europa's surface does not necessarily imply that carbon exists in the moon's subsurface ocean, where it is necessary to increase the likelihood of life. Surface carbon dioxide may have been brought to the surface by meteorites or some external source. If so, it rules out the possibility that there any carbon in the water where the action is taking place. However, the fact that scientists found it in a chaos terrain is a significant proof. The more the chemical diversity, the better for life on Earth. Diversity means potential in the chemical world. We are a carbon-based species. Knowing the ocean's chemistry will enable us to determine if Europa is hostile to life as we know it, or whether it might actually be a suitable environment for life. Carbon is the backbone of life because it readily forms bonds with many other different types of atoms. To create new types of molecules, it requires a variety of substances around it. Finding carbon that originated from the ocean 
is a fascinating hint at what kinds of compounds might form in Europa's ocean. Also at Terra Regio, the Hubble Space Telescope discovered salt on Europa's surface in 2019. That is clear evidence that the ocean is salty. That shows that Europa has a warm, salty ocean with a rocky seafloor, coupled with other data. According to scientists, a water rock contact is a crucial precursor to life. The extent to which Europa's ocean is connected to its surface is still up for debate. The investigation of Europa has been greatly influenced by that question. This implies that, even before drilling through the ice to obtain the complete picture, we might be able to discover some basic information about the composition of the ocean. Using information from Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph's Integral Field Unit, scientists were able to identify the carbon dioxide. On the surface of Europa, which has a diameter of 1,944 miles, this instrument mode provides spectra with a resolution of 200 by 200 miles, allowing astronomers to pinpoint the location of particular chemicals. The surface of Europa is unstable for carbon dioxide. Because of its concentration in an area of young terrain, the scientists conclude that it was likely supplied on a geologically recent timeline. It is amazing how quickly the James Webb Telescope located the carbon dioxide during its observations. Only a few minutes of the powerful Space Telescope's limited observation time were required to find the carbon. Hopefully, that's an indication of future observations in the solar system. It's possible that water plumes are what bring particles from Europa's ocean to the surface. In order to find them again, the Hubble observed while Europa transited across Jupiter's disk ten times. In three of those ten photos, Hubble discovered water plumes. They hoped that the more potent James Webb Space Telescope could capture them once more. They could start establishing an upper limit on how much carbon is being deposited on the surface if they could locate them. The JWST was unable to locate the plumes, but it does not imply that they are not present. They could very well be rare and unpredictable. Adding carbon into the mix just ramps up the excitement. The discovery checks off another box in favor of life. Additionally, it also helps upcoming exploration, such as that of the NASA Europa Clipper and the ESA's JUICE mission. Galileo's data on Europa, which it collected between 1995 and 2003 as it swung through Jupiter's neighborhood, has long been the subject of scientific analysis. They'll have a variety of fresh data to analyze over the course of the next 10 years. NASA will send the Europa Clipper spacecraft towards the moon in October 2024. The major goal of the Clipper's mission is to conduct near flybys of the Europa in order to ascertain whether the subsurface ocean may harbor life. The journey will take about six years, with the Clipper arriving in 2030. There are other missions going to the moons of Jupiter as well. The JUICE mission, launched by the European Space Agency in April, is expected to reach Jupiter by 2031. Its scope is broader. It will focus on Jupiter and Europa imaging as well as that of Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, and Callisto, a moon that is roughly the same size as Mercury. Also, the discovery of carbon outside of the Earth is not new. For instance, we are aware that both Venus and Mars are abundant in it. In fact, James Webb Space Telescope has even spotted carbon dioxide on a planet outside of our solar system. But this finding on Europa supports the idea that the moon's deep ocean contains the elements necessary for the emergence of life. That doesn't prove aliens are hiding beneath the moon's surface, of course, but it does give us another reason to go and see Europa up close. While the James Webb Space Telescope frequently grabs attention for its research on the oldest, furthest objects in our universe, these findings demonstrate that it can also teach us a lot about our own solar neighborhood. In fact, Enceladus, another water moon with a frozen crust, was discovered to have water plumes by the potent space telescope. But that's a story for another time.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.